Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's joy in the house of the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. At this juncture, we want to read the word of God. And I want to invite Dickness Mrs. Gloria Boche to come and give us the word of God. After which, we will receive the worship. Hallelujah. Let's give a clap unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are taking the scripture reading from Revelation chapter 19 from the verse 6 through to 10. And I read. Then I heard what seemed to be the voice of a great multitude, like the roar of many waters and like the sound of mighty peals of thunder crying out hallelujah for the lord our god the almighty reigns let us rejoice and exult and give him the glory for the marriage of the lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready it was granted her to clothe herself with fine linen bright and pure for the fine linen is the righteous deeds of the saints and the angel said to me, write this, blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, these are the true words of God. Verse 10. Then I fell down at his feet to worship him, but he said to me, you must not do that. I am a fellow servant with you and your brothers who hold to the testimony of Jesus. Worship God for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we please rise? We want to worship God. Bring to him the fruit of our lips. For it great things that he has done for us. Hallelujah. Somebody begin to bless the name of the Lord. Give him glory. Worship glory, Lord. Exalt him. Magnify him. Praise his name. Extol him. We worship you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within. His holy name, bless the Lord, oh my soul, bless the Lord, oh my soul. No! 
sing of your goodness, Lord. We extol you, Lord. We magnify you. We thank you that you are a faithful God. things you have done, the things you are doing, and that which you are going to do. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, talk to me. I said praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to turn to your friend, your neighbor, by you, and wish the person a merry, merry, merry Christmas. And tell him that you are welcome to the Christmas wedding. Christmas wedding. Hallelujah. Amen. I would. Very shortly, I will invite Eric and Benis to come and stand in front here. But before that, I want to acknowledge a few of some of our reverend ministers who have joined us, you can wait. I'll, I'll. who have joined us. We have, beloved, this morning, we have, in a, this is not in part, any particular order, we have Bishop Dr. Richard Owusra Chow and Mama Grace, the General Overseer of Living Grace Ministries, all the way from Sunyane. Fa Papa, you are, you are welcome. Let's put our hands together for Bishop. We have Apostle Colin Stetter and Mama Grace, also Living Grace Ministries, Grace Ministries from Sunyane. God bless you for coming. You are welcome. We also have Rev Reverend Robert Ginyasi and Mrs. Victoria, Aibetau District of the Church of Pentecost. Papa, you are welcome. We have Reverend Eli Raphael, Raphael Aiglo Lighthouse Chapel, Coligono. Pastor, you are welcome. Pastor, you are welcome. And then we have some of our retired fathers are here. Apostle Emmanuel and Mama Christiana appear. The Church of Pentecost retired. Papa, Papa is here. Mommy is here. Papa, please, you are welcome. We have Reverend, we have Pastor Ebenezer Ado, Chebi District of the Church of Pentecost. Papa, you are also welcome. Then we have Pastor Frederick and Mama Beatrice appear or die retired. Papa and Mommy, you are highly, highly, highly welcome. Then we also have Reverend Roderick Chre Jan, all the way from King Kensu District, the Church of Pentecost. He used to be the district pastor for Kwame Danso. And we have Pastor BK Atta and Mama Benis, Domi District, here. Uh, I, I invited them to come and help me today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And beloved, cherish today's, and I'm also here, Apostle Tony Mensa right. with Mary. Yeah. Uh, we are also here. I'm the resident minister for this church, PRWC Atomic. Amen. Amen. Then cherish today's function, beloved, it's a privilege to have our father here, <laughs> Apostle Samuel Jehu Obobi, <laughs> the general secretary of the Church of Pentecost worldwide. 
His, his office is too big. And this morning, because of his love for Eric and Venice, he has to stop all the executive things he's doing and today be here. So let's put our hands together for him. Let's welcome him. Let's welcome everyone for coming. Our strength, thy grace, our rule, thy stand in front of me but I shall do the other introduction but as one of my fathers is here I can continue the, the, the CEO of National Service uh -huh. Reverend Osias BNG is here let's put our hands together this man I was with him in Kumasi when he was the Kumasi mayor and he used to visit my church and some of you don't know he's a pastor he's a, he's a great man let's welcome him he is Eric's boss let's welcome him so we'll sing the song again, and then Eric and Venice will come and stand, will join us, me in front here. Our strength, thy grace, our rule, thy word, thy word. today in the presence of the Almighty God to ask his blessing on Eric Nyako and Benis Kusi's marriage. Christian marriage is a gift and calling of God entered into in obedience to the gospel of Christ. Today, Eric Nyako and Benis Kusi give thanks to God for that gift and acknowledge that calling of God. We declare that God has provided marriage for the companionship of help and comfort in mutual care so that husband and wife may live faithfully together. God has provided it for the fulfillment of human love in mutual honor so that husband and wife may intimately know each other with delight. God has provided it for the birth and nature of children so that they may find the security of love and grow up in the heritage of faith. I will ask Eric. Mr. Eric Nyako, you have already taken Benis Kusi to be your lawful wife. Since you wish to acknowledge before God your desire so that your married life continue to be according to his will and seek his blessing i ask you therefore do you promise that you will continue to love her comfort her honor her and protect her for better for worse for richer for poorer in sickness and in health and to be faithful to her as long as you both shall live 
If it is so, say yes, I will. I will. Say it again. I want to, but don't, don't worry. Yeah, so get the mic. Get, get the mic to work. Get it work. It works. Yeah, get it work. Yes, I will. Say it again. Yes, I will. Shall we say a big amen? Amen. Benis, I'm also asking you. Benis, Kusi, you have already taken Mr. Eric Nyako to be your lawful husband. Since you wish to acknowledge before God your desire that your married life continue to be according to his will and to seek his blessing, I ask you, therefore, do you promise that you will continue to love him, comfort him, honor and protect him for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, and to be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? If it is so, say, yes, I will. Yes, I will. Say it again. Yes, I will. Shall we shout a big amen? Amen. So turn and face each other as you exchange the rings. So Eric, you take the ring. You, you take yeah, that of Benny's face. So you take her left. So whilst you are putting on the ring, you repeat this after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token. As a token. Look at your wife. And memoria. And memoria. That I have taken you. That I have taken you. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. Shall we say amen? amen. So Benish, you also take the ring and you give to Eric while saying this. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token. As a token. And memoria. And memoria. That I have taken you. That I have taken you. To be Eric, my lawful wedded husband. Nanenyako, to be my lawful wedded husband. Shall we all shout a big amen? Amen. So you will turn and face me again. I humbly want to ask the best man and the best woman to take their seat. You can take your seats now. Let's clap for them. Now, you can give the bouquet to Benis. Give it to her. Uh -huh. Before I make the declaration, I will invite the chairman. You move, please move back two steps back and so that we bring the prayer altar. I will hand over to the General Secretary of the Church of Pentecost to take the prayer. Our strength, thy, thy grace, our rule, is thy word, thy word,
rise to our feet. Father, into your hands we commit Eric and Benny's in the name of Jesus. And we ask, O oh God, for your blessings upon this year. And we ask for divine protection. We ask for prosperity and peace in the name of Jesus Christ. By the laying on of hands, O oh God, we impart grace unto them. And then we ask the Father, you be with them all the days of their lives, even from henceforth, Lord. Let their love for each other increase. Let their love for each other know no bounds. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Increase, O oh God, their love for each other. Yes, Lord. And then increase their love for you, O oh God, all the days of their lives. Let goodness and mercies follow them. Yes, and when they are being looked for, let them be found in your presence Amen. every now and then. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. bind them together, O oh God. Hallelujah. Make their family a, a, a family of God. Amen. And make their home, O oh God, your home. Amen. That Father abide in their home yes, and be the head of their home. Yes, in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ, we come against every weapon of the enemy that may arise against them. Yes. And any tongue that will rise against them, O oh God, we condemn it in the name of Jesus. For this is the inheritance of your children. In the name of Jesus, may the heavens be open unto you. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord lift you up and may he catapult you to greater height. In Jesus' name, may your going out be blessed and your coming in be blessed. May the children that God has given you be blessed. And may they grow into their destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. May you be soaked in the blood of Jesus Christ. May you be protected from the evil one. And may you be protected from evil eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the cloud of glory surround you. Even now and forevermore. And now the Lord bless and keep you. May his countenance shine upon you. The Lord bless and keep you. And may he smile at you. May you be favored among your peers. Amen. And may you be carriers of the grace Amen. of God. May the presence of God ever abide with you now and forevermore. In Jesus' name we call it that. Amen. Amen.
as much as Eric Yako and Benis Kusi have come together before God and in the presence of this congregation, as they have sought God's blessing on their marriage and renewed their vows, I, in my capacity as a gazetted marriage officer and Christ's servant in this church, now declare them husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, what God I join together, let no man separate. Shall we say amen? amen. Shall we say another big amen? amen? Beloved, at this juncture, Eric will take his wife. They will go and sign the marriage certificate by the church and by the government. Then after that, we'll come and introduce them to this house. Amen. Amen. We will celebrate our God. We will celebrate our So, as they are signing the certificate, we are bringing our offering. Yeah, the, the, the best man and Benny and Joyce, you can go and assist them. Yeah, so we are bringing our offering. This offering is for, it's a Christmas offering for Eric and his wife. So bring it. If you brought any parcel, uh, there should be a gift table behind there. If you brought a, a parcel for Benny's and husband, please, you can send it back there. You can send it back there. But in the absence of that, we are all raising a fund to support them. So we will rise to our feet and our royal vessels will help us. So those of us here will come use this bow. Those of us on my left will come this way and then you go through there. And those of us here will also, there's a bow here. You pack, let's get the, the bow to the middle here so that they can put it in there. Yes. Let's bring it close. Yeah. So that those of you here can all use and their platform will all use this one bow. Thank you. Please, let's rise on our feet. Thank you. Oh, we will celebrate our God. We will celebrate our God. Let us burn up be raised. Let us glory be seen. We will celebrate our God. Let us honor be raised. Let us glory be saved. We will celebrate. We will celebrate. We will celebrate our God. We will celebrate. We will celebrate our God. Come on, let us honor be raised. Let us glory be saved. We will celebrate our God. Let us honor be raised. Let us glory be saved. We will celebrate.
beloved, we have Honorable Justina Awo Usu Banahini, the Bono Regional Minister. <laughs> Mommy, you are welcome. Mommy, God bless you for coming. God bless you. We have Honorable Mustafa, you see, Minister for Youth and Sports. If Minister has arrived, we want to acknowledge his presence. I'm sure he should be on his way. Thank you for coming. We have Mrs. Emmanuel Osei, Deputy Controller and Accountant General Administration. Mommy, where are you? Mommy, where are you? God bless you. We have Honorable, uh, I've introduced Honorable Osei already. We have Mr. Johnson Addison, Deputy Auditor General. Deputy Auditor General. He should also be on his way. We have Mrs. Gifty Owarimensa, Deputy Executive Director, NSS. Where is mommy? Mommy should also be on. So we have Mrs. Rosemont Hamilton, CEO, Crystal Rose Hotels. God bless you. Mommy, God bless you. Mommy, God bless you for coming. We have Mr. Benjamin Owusu, CEO, Direct Savings and Loan. CEO, God bless you. We want to acknowledge your prayer. We have, we have Mr. Augustine Ado. Vice President, ICA Ghana. ICA Ghana, where are you? My institute and GSS Institute. We want to see our Vice President. Vice President, where are you? We are all members of the Institute. Myself and GS. We have Professor Otin Abebio, University of Ghana. Prof. Prof, God bless you. We have Prof. Professor Mohamed Amidu, University of Ghana. God bless you. God bless you, Prof. We will continue with the introduction. But before we do, we want to invite our brother, Emmanuel Apia. If he, Dickin Emmanuel Apia, if he's around, he will bring administration. Dickin Emmanuel Apia. Let's put our hands together for Dickin. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Shedawasi. Yeradi. Yakupon. Oh, Shedawasi. Oh, 
and face the congregation. Janelle and Michaela, stand in front of your parents. Beloved, this morning, on behalf of our general secretary, and on my own behalf, we present to you Mr. and Mrs. Nyako. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Shall we all shout a big amen? Amen. You can give them a wave. You can give them a wave. You can clap unto the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Please, so you may go and sit down. You may be seated. You may be seated. Before we take the word of God, please, maybe. Before we listen to a short word of God, it should be less than 10 minutes. I want to also acknowledge again some of our dignitaries. Because of this wedding, they are here. Honorable Ose Kojo Isaac, special aide to the vice president. Honorable, welcome. Bishop Richard, Bishop has been introduced. Yeah, okay. So we have Mr. Tete Foini Odoi, board chairman, NSS. Board chairman, NSS. We have Nanayao Sapombuatin, a champion in new job in traditional area. Nana Nabi Ajiman, the second. Adon Tehini, Guan Traditional Area. Guan Traditional. Let's put our hands together for Nana. We have Osafohini Kweku Ochre. Apasamaka. Osafohini Ebri Traditional Area. God bless you. Nana Owusu Bosoma. Jasehini Ofia Pre Traditional Area. Let's put our hands together for Nana. 
because of our time we want to run through mr paul mr paul appear Owusu, director general administration nss god bless you mr albert Otin Owusu, director of audits nss god bless you brother for coming mr mike Owusu, regional coordinating director central region you are here god bless you dr carl mark ahin former deputy executive director nss we have dr gilbert nyale jugbo chief cashier control and accountant general department mr dela afi senenu director human resource controller and accountant general department mr osman musa business development manager sima ghana chapter institute of management accountant ghana we have mr bright Owusu kwatin financial controller ministry of water and sanitation God bless you. Mr. Che Bafo, Financial Controller, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Is Mr. Che Bafo here? Papa, you are welcome. Mr. Yao. Mr. Mark Yao Danso, Regional Accountant, RCC Bono Region. RCC Regional Bono Region. God bless you. Mr. Mike Jemfi, Deputy Director, AMA. AMA. You are here. God bless you. Mr. Yao Ten Yeboa, Assistant Registrar, University of Ghana. We want to acknowledge the presence of the management staff and regional directors, all from NSS. Please just rise to your feet. We want to acknowledge your presence. God bless you. We also have, God bless you. You are shy. You don't want to rise. Rise. Let's see you. Rise. The church wants to see you. God bless you. We also have our deaconesses are here. Mothers, rise to your feet. We have our deaconesses are here. Our elders are here. You can rise to your feet. God bless you. God bless you. Our deacons are also here this is prwc atomic the city on the hill if you want to use our washrooms you go through this door and on your left both males and females god bless you at this juncture we want to listen to a short word of god from pastor Roderick Trejan, the district pastor at the church of pentecost in king kensu district at the offenso area let's put our hands together for pastor Oh, praise the Lord. We thank God for the privilege and the opportunity given to us. And I thank our Father, Jesus, for such a kind opportunity. I'm grateful. And my Father, Apostle Tony Mensa, and all my fathers here. Amen. I'm speaking to the topic, Understanding the Dynamics of Marriage for Impact. Understanding the Dynamics of Marriage for Impact. And we will take it a perspective from David and Micah. David and Micah. So I'll be taking my reading from 1 Samuel 18, verse 20. 1 Samuel chapter 18, verse 20. I will take three verses. 1 Samuel 18, 20. Now, Saul's daughter Micah loved David. When they told Saul, it pleased him. So the first verse, the Bible said that Micah is Saul's daughter. Then 1 Samuel 19 verse 11. 1 Samuel 19 verse 11. Then Saul sent men to David's house to watch him, that he might kill him in the morning. But David's wife, Micah, told him, If you do not save your life tonight, tomorrow you will be killed so this verse 2 the bible is describing Micah as david's wife there has been a change then second samuel chapter 6 verse 16 to 23 to be a long verse as the ark of the lord came into the city of david Micah, the daughter of saul now Micah have changed from david's wife to the daughter of saul looked out of the window and saw king david leaping and dancing before the lord and the bible said she despised him in her heart and they brought in the ark of the lord and sent it in its place inside the tent which david had pent for it and david offered burnt offering and peace offerings before the lord and when david had finished offering the burnt offering and the peace offering he blessed the people in the name of the Lord of hosts and distributed among all the people the whole multitude of Israel 
both men and women, to each a cake of bread and portion of meat and a cake of raisin. Then all the people departed each to his house. And David returned to bless his household. But Micah, the daughter of Saul, came out to meet David and said, How the king of Israel honored himself today, and covering himself today before the eyes of his servants maid, as one of the vulgar fellows, shamelessly uncover himself. And David said to Micah, It was before the Lord who chose me above your father and above all his house, to appoint me as prince over Israel, the people of the Lord, and I will make merry before the Lord. I will make myself yet more contemptible than this, and I will be abased in your eyes, but by the means of whom you have spoken, by them I shall be held in honor. And Micah, the daughter of Saul, had no child to the day of her death. From the verse we read, the Bible said according to 1 Samuel 18, 20-25, Saul's daughter Micah loved David. But the person who loved David, 1 Samuel 19, 11, saved David's life from his own father. But when you move to 2 Samuel 6, verse 16 to 23, the Bible says that Micah despised Saul in her heart. Despised Saul in her heart. Someone who loved her husband is now despising her. So we need to find the cause. We know that love grows. But in this case, this love is not growing. This love is leading to other things else. But for us to understand the reason why she did that, we need to understand their background. Who is Micah and who is David? There was nothing wrong with any of them. But the challenge was, this was a marriage between, excuse me to put it in this way, a marriage between a king who was, excuse me in this way, Fulani, who married princess. So it was a princess marriage and Fulani's marriage. Their background were different. In our case, it might not be in the same way, but in the, the same context, in a different situation. Each and every one of us has a different background. Let's look at who is David. David was a shepherd. And shepherd, where does he live? He lives in the bush. That was David's credential. So when he's doing anything, he asks like someone who is a shepherd. His behavior is someone who, who shepherd. But Micah is a princess. David lives, excuse me, in the bush. Micah lives in a palace. In bush, there is no protocol. You do what you want to do. But in palace, there are protocols. These are the two people who have gotten married. Different ideas, different mentalities, different behavior, different philosophies. David was a worshiper. But Micah is now learning. So when you look at the statement that Micah made, she's justifiable and she's right. How can a king of Israel behave in this way? Though you are worshipping God, but have you forgotten that you are a king? Have you forgotten that the people you are worshipping God in front of, they are your mates? And shamelessly, look at how you are behaving. So to Micah, she is right. But she had forgotten that the person I've gotten married to used to be a worshiper, used to be a shepherd, used to live in the bush, used to stay with animals, used to fight with animals. So she has forgotten about all things, and she has put in David to the position of a king. David too had forgotten about who Micah was before she, he got married to her. Micah is a princess. She doesn't want her husband to behave in that way. Micah is a princess. There are protocols in the palace. Micah is a princess who orders people. David has forgotten about this. David is expecting Micah to understand that. Have you forgotten that I'm a shepherd? 
Have you forgotten that? I love God. Have you forgotten where I come from? Though Micah met David in the palace, but David was not from the palace. Most of us, the people we got married to, we met them in Accra, Kumasi, in cities. So we've forgotten that there are certain behavior and character they have developed for a very long time. So we just move into, we want them to behave, as excuse me to put it, where we met them. We met them on campus, but they are from somewhere. Mika met David at the palace, but she was from some, he was from somewhere before he came there. If they would have understood this principle, there wouldn't be any need for them to have misunderstanding. The lesson we need to take from here is that we shouldn't force our strength on our partners. Your strength may be different from the strength of your partner. There was nothing wrong with Mika. There was nothing wrong with the statement she made. But when you assess it, it's wrong. From David's perspective, there is nothing wrong with David and the statement she said. But look at the statement. She said, it's God who chose me above your father. No more Mika anymore. But David is now insulting his in-laws. Who chose me above your father? Not only that, who chose me above your father's family? And he chose me. When you bring this statement in our dialect, it will be very dangerous. It will be difficult for somebody to forget about this statement. Who chose me above your father? Have you forgotten? Your father was there and God chose me. Not only your father, but the whole of your generation. I am above them. So if I am doing this, I am doing it before God, not you. I'm praying that we will understand our partners. We should understand that they have developed a certain ideology. If Mika have gone to David's father and said that, my in-law, something has happened. So what has happened? Come and see how your son is done the king. He's just shamelessly done. So, oh, no, no, that is his behavior. You have been living with it. It's okay to us. Some of us, the situations and some of the attitude of our spouse, if you have further detailed it, or look for the background of our spouse, and go to our in-laws, they will tell that it's normal. We are not saying that we should justify wrong things, no. But marriage is about compromising and cooperation. You need to compromise and cooperate with your partner. And let's believe God. What we can change, let's change it. And the one you cannot change, leave it. God himself will work with it. But if you want to go details with everything, there are a lot of things we don't know about our partners. As we are growing, there will be an earth and you realize that, no, I don't know my husband. This is not my husband. I've married you for 20 years. Yes, it was there. It has been developed for a very long time. It's not gone. It's now an earthen. I'm praying and thanking God that by his grace, God is going to give us the grace to be able to manage and work on our marriage. The key thing is for us to understand. If you understand our partners, if there's something you don't understand, just keep it that the parents have lived with it for that 30 years. If there's something you think, as for this one, I can't cope with it. The parents have lived with it. So you too, you can live with it and you can go pray with it. May God be with us. May the mighty hand of God be with us. As our marriage are unleashing to be an example for the world. Amen. You can clap well. So, Benny, so God has chosen Eric for you. Uh-huh. So whatever Eric does, he does it unto the Lord. At this juncture, I want to invite Bishop Dr. Uswa Chow to say a prayer. After that, we invite Eric and his wife to come and bring the, a, a response. Shall we rise on our feet? Come on, look at your neighbor and say, what a word. Hallelujah. May the Lord give us the grace to understand each other and to bear. Praise the Lord. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We are not here by accident. We are not here by chance. We know you've gathered us under your feet on this very Tuesday being a Christmas day, not by accident, but for a reason and for a purpose. Apart from joining Eric and Bernice for such a wonderful occasion, 
He also brought us here to hide us here under your canopy. You know better than what we know. Dear Lord, we thank you for your word. Even in these trying moments, give us strength to cope with one another, to understand each other. My Lord, to bear one another. We ask that by your grace and by your strength, brotherly love, marital love, will continuously continue to the glory of your holy name. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us. Thank you for blessing us with such a wonderful atmosphere, wonderful marriage, wonderful word, wonderful blessing. In the name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Let the saints of God say, Amen. Please, watch our intonation. Shall we be seated? We have in our midst Dr. Kobna Oday, GPRTU National First Trustee. Doc, you are welcome. We also have Mr. Richard Yao Amankwa, GPRTU Deputy General Secretary, Operations. We have Mr. Isaac John Kofi Osu, Chairman, NDC, Shai Osudoku Constituency. These are all here. Let's put our hands together for them. God bless you. And then finally, I want to invite Mr. and Mrs. Nyako as they bring their response. So they will come up. Joyce Your and this man, you can join them. Has taken us through, oh Lord. Your grace has done, done it, it again. again. Precious Lord, Lord, we bow down, down to you. Oh, Gracious Lord, Lord, we bow down to you. Lord, we bless God for a day like this. We thank Almighty God for a special day like this. Today, Christmas 26th, December 2023, that our marriage is born again. So <laughs> we give great, we give glory to the Almighty God. So the, our second thanks go to Apostle and Mrs. Samuel Obobi. Uh, the General Secretary uh, of Church of Pentecost Global for making time of his busy schedules to come and bless this marriage today. Apostle, we bless you. And then the next one goes to uh, the Papa of this house, our Father, uh, Apostle and Mrs. Tony Mensa. Father, God bless you. The officiating ministers, we, we, God bless you all for coming and joining us uh, today. Uh, our special uh, thanks go to Bishop Dr. Ousu Achiang and Apostle Colin Stete for, for coming all the way from Sunyani to join us today and sacrificing your Christmas to join us today from Sunyani. God bless you. And the next, our next one goes to uh, Honorable Regional Minister uh, Matt. Madam Justin, Honorable Justina Aru, <laughs> and Honorable Ose SB Entry, my boss. God bless you, uh, boss. And my mother department, Deputy Controller and Accountant General, Madam Emilia, and then my colleagues from Accountant General Departments, and then staff and management of National Service Scheme. God bless you all. Praise the Lord. Yeah, we, we, we forgot about our parents. Sorry, sorry about that. Our parents, both both sides, from Sunyane and Kwambi So God bless you all for coming. Amen. Nana. God bless you. <laughs>
and every one of us we are so grateful to God this um, afternoon or midday yeah we thank God so much for what he has done and we want to bless God for the life of uh, our brother Eric and his wife uh, they are they are access to the to the body of Christ and they are blessing to the body of Christ and so we want to thank God for their lives but I stand here especially to recognize um, my brother and friend, Honorable uh, Osei Esibe. Uh, when we were, we were also in Kumasi, Asukwa. That was when we met him. Um, and he was the mayor of Kumasi at the time. But at the mayor, he still had time to relate and to interact with um, some of us. And the lesson that I want to draw from this is that I mean, relationship is very important. Uh, so this is long ago. I have left Kumasi. Um, I've been here. I've been to uh, Asamakese and back. But because of how he related to us, um, when we meet him, we still can also go to him. And so I want to bless you, my brother. Uh, let's give him a round of applause. And let's learn a lesson from it that no matter the position no matter as for the position it can change today you are this tomorrow you are not but relationship stands forever and so let's learn to relate to everybody very well so that tomorrow when you are not in that position uh, we can still have brothers you can still have friends you can still have people to relate to the crust of the message that we have heard today is that let's learn to understand each other as couples we may not understand we may not appreciate everything about our spouses it's not everything that they will do that probably we can appreciate but one thing that will help us is understanding let us understand each other and when we understand each other looking at the fact that we come from different backgrounds we come from different homes some of us came went to a good schools others did not go to a good school yeah so um over any day you see, and when you marry some of us, I mean, you have to just understand us. Even how to eat with fork and knife, cutlery, is, is a challenge. Uh -huh. But there are some of you too that you are very comfortable with that. Let's understand each other. And understanding each other help, on, help each other to also grow and also develop. May God richly bless you all. Amen. Yeah, so so for will come and give us the closing prayer. Kwa, Let's sing one song before he gives us the closing prayer. Please come. And we shall sing Captain of Israel, Host and Guide. Shall we please rise to our feet? Captain of Israel's Host and Guide. Oh, for the land above
in the name of Jesus we want to thank you we want to bless you we want to bow unto you for you deserve to be worshipped we we'll bring you our praise from deep down our heart for what you've done unto us that you counted us among the living we started a year with many people but we cannot find some of them it's by grace that we are alive and we appreciate the fact that it's your strength it's your grace it's your mercy it's your loving kindness that have kept us to today and we say oh lord may your name be praised Amen. but thank you for a gift of life and every bit of goodness you've shown to us we thank you god for today and we thank you for what we've witnessed we thank you for Jenny mercies we well, thank you for everything you have encouraged us and you have given us insight you have given us understanding and you have given us oh god things that we can carry home today to make our marriages work may your name be praised we pray oh god for your servant from whom you speak to us we pray that oh god you continue to fill him with knowledge and with understanding that whatever he starts, you will bless your people through him. We pray, even as we live here, or go to our various destinations, may your grace abound. Amen. May mercy so go abound. Amen. You bought us, and you know you will send us back safely, and nothing, will, nothing evil will come near us. And when we get to our homes, we we'll lift our hands and bless you. We also pray, O oh God, for new, this new couple, the Father, you grant them that understanding we expect us to have. So that together, at the end of it, we have the cause to give you praise and honor. Thank you for today. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. As far from the Pastor Robert Genasi to come and pronounce the benediction. As far from the from falling and he who is full of grace protect us from here and continue to fill us with his spirit even as we wait await his second coming 
May we live here in peace. Amen. 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 Now, beloved, before we exit, we'll take pictures with a couple. It's been arranged, so don't be in a hurry to leave. When you finish taking your picture and you are leaving, please humbly go through this door. Your parcel will be given. I can, there will be some cocktail there, but there will be your pack will be given to you. So when you use this door, you may not get anything. So kindly use this one. The gift table is still behind. If you brought any gift you want to drop it, you can do it. We shall begin with the officiating ministers and wives. The officiating ministers and wives. After that, because the general secretary will be leaving, all the IC and CIMA members, CIMA members can join so that we will take that. Then we will continue. So officiating ministers and wives. Caleb, where are we taking the pictures? So on the steps. We'll we are take taking it here. Steps. So Eric and Benis, please come here. The general secretary will come. The bishop, doctor will come. Our father, Apostle Apia, and mommy will join us.